Hey everybody, Tim here for today's review of Doctor Who, story number 208, The End of Time. We did it. We have ended an era. Like, we have not, this isn't just the end of, like, David Tennant's run. I mean, this is the end of Davies' run and everything. Like, this is it. It's all been building up to this. Not a surprise. Was not a huge fan. Parts of it are great. Just like the, the season finale before, where it's like the, the Dr. Donna stuff. Like, I thought parts of this were really, really good, and then parts of it... I I just I don't know. I just I'm not a big fan of Davies writing because so much of it I'm just like what's the point? Like why did this have to be included? I'm a big fan of like killing your darlings or like trimming the fat. Like like get as much out of the story as we as we absolutely can. And so much of this seemed like filler. Like I I didn't care about the ood. You could lose all of the ood and you wouldn't miss a beat. Wilf is obviously like the best part about this entire story. He's absolutely great. He's absolutely amazing. The master, I'm not a big fan of John Sim's master to begin with. Like I've said that before. He's he's too manic and I don't like it. Like I'm more of the classic master, especially with the third doctor, where he's like conniving and he's like Moriarty and he's like great. Sim and even realistically Derek Jacobi was fantastic in that like I want more of that master Sim's just batshit crazy like I, I couldn't do it the CGI skull flashing back and forth which I do love how the doctor's like it's Skeletor like it, it's it was so distracting and so CGI I no get away from it the whole Iron Man flying thing where he just like shoots fire out of his palms Nope, cut it, get rid of it. Uh, I was super, super excited to see Timothy Dalton. It was great. I mean, you're, it's James Bond in Doctor Who. Like, that's great. Playing Rassilon, and realistically, even the entire, like, oh, it's the Time Lord's the last day of the war. Like, no, why? Like, it literally doesn't do anything. It just goes forever. The green people, the cacti, which is racist, but it's funny as fuck. They're, they're really funny, and they're interesting characters. Didn't add anything. Never seen them again anyway. Boom. Gone. Like, I literally just took two episodes. You get rid of all of that. The main part of the story, the interesting part, is when the master makes everybody else look like him. Boom. That's it. Like, that is the meat. And that is really good storytelling. Because the master is just like, fuck it. I want everybody to be as smart as I am. That would have been great. Like, just have that as a story. Like, we didn't need all of this other stuff. When we finally get to, like, the, the sad part, the greatest part of this entire story is when, like, the doctor has to go back in and, like, sacrifice himself for Wilf to come out is brilliant. Like, it's really... And I love David Tennant. Like, when he goes to open the door, and he's like, oh, now it works. is is fantastic. Going through the companions... I mean, it was kind of sweet because, like, they're, like, they're David Tennant's companions. I know they've kind of said... They've kind of retconned it a little bit to say, like, oh, he actually went to look at all the companions, like, that the Doctor has ever had. He went and checked on them. No, no, he, he really didn't. Like, I mean, yeah, you could say that. That's fine. I could say I'm a millionaire. It doesn't make it true. But, like, unless you're going to show that, I don't even understand why you would retcon it, realistically. And... I don't know why we would even see these companions. Like, it's very, like, series finale showing the companions rather than, like, just season finale or even doctor finale. Because we're going to get more doctors and, like, some of these characters we even see again. Smith and, uh, like, Martha Jones and Mickey Smith... Fuck it. Like, that, I did never, I never need to see them again. Especially the last time we saw Martha. Like, I think she was engaged. So, evidently she just dumped him and then just went with Mickey. So that's really kind of awkward. Like, I, I think they're together in real life. But still, didn't need to see it. Luke and Sarah Jane, super cute. I get it. But we literally see the 11th Doctor in the next season of the Sarah Jane Adventures. So, why? Didn't need to be a thing. Jack and Alonzo was super cute. 
The last time we saw Jack, he just killed his grandson. So not really a big fan of Jack right now. And then we do see Jack again later on down the road. So again, it's, it just seems so weird. The whole line of like, I don't want to go before he regenerates. That is literally pandering to the fans. Like if David Tennant didn't want to go, he didn't have to. He could have stayed. I'm sure like everybody would have been happy for another David Tennant season. So it's literally just to make the fans feel bad. So I don't know. I'm I'm not into that type of manipulation. Like it just, it doesn't work for me. And I'm like, fuck you. Like, why are you telling me you don't want to go when you're the one who left the series? So I don't know. The, the whole thing just really kind of fell flat for me, which is sad because I was really, really looking forward to it. So I don't know. I'm I'm curious what you guys think. The la the these last the first four seasons of the series have been really rough for me. So I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think about it. I'm really looking forward to getting into the Matt Smith years. They are my favorite years. So I'm really excited. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Go ahead, let me know, and I will see you guys next time for the two parter. Or no, what uh for the I'm that's not a two parter, it's a one parter. I will see you guys next time for the Matt Smith premiere of the eleventh hour.